Yes. It does speak typical gastro pub, you know, simple, good food. In, in comparison to the style that I produce in, in our restaurant, it's, um, it's like chalk and cheese, it's completely different. Stephen's scallop and pork patty dish is ready to go. Why I've chosen it? Because yeah. I think it's banging, that's why. No foams, no froths, it's just, they're just, it's just, it's as good as flavour gets out of these products. Stephen's up the ante, creating a dish just for James. It's something he won't be expecting, but will he be impressed? Nice and moist, crisp on the outside. Yeah, quite tasty. Could maybe do with a little bit more seasoning, but yeah, tasty. If this is the sort of food that he's going to serve up to the judges on the day, yeah, it could, it could hit home with quite a few people. Um, but I wouldn't say it scares me. Back in the Great British Menu kitchen, Stephen's covering rabbit legs with duck fat to confit them. This will replace bread in his Welsh rare bit rabbit, a truly patriotic cheese on toast. Across the kitchen, James is mixing the ingredients to make pasta for his starter of poached chicken, pea ravioli and Welsh cheese. His very personal and slightly daring take on a taste of home. What have you got here? This is my uh, is that your pea liquid that's going into the ravioli. Look, the ravioli on a roast dinner. Yeah. Are you mad or what? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like to have fun. And, okay. it, and this, for me, it's just, it's a bit of is that's your, Is that your version of a, of a starter, like roast potatoes? So you're putting the pasta element to play on the potatoes? Exactly that. OK. So it's a starter. That's really nice. Thing. That's lovely. Good for a summer dish. It's so it's going to be a, a very light. Yeah. Very different to Stevens. Oh, yeah, it's not going to be, you know, this is just setting me up ready for my next course, which is going to be okay. packs of punch. So what are you saying? Hey, it's too strong. Is that what you're saying? Well, you know, it's just <laughs> my style of food is completely yeah. different. No, it's two different so, styles, completely. You know, it's... On his side of the kitchen, Stevens working on his rare bit mix. Flour is added to melted butter to make a roux. Ale now joins the milk and is boiled before being added to the heated mixture. Finally, Stephen's Welsh cheddar, Tabasco, Worcestershire sauce, and mustard are stirred in. What's in that then? Everything. Everything's in a to go, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Bryn's curious to taste this army of flavours in one pan. It's not as strong as I thought it was going to be. This is basically you just. There's no measurements in this, is there? Well, there's a basic recipe, but I think a you know, recipe is a basic. <laughs> but do you stick to it? It's a guide. No, never. No, you don't do it. Never. It's a guide, it's isn't it? It's like bomb, 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 you taste. Sometimes I add an egg, sometimes I don't. I'm, I'm actually not going to add an egg this time. But for a competition, should you not have a tried and tested recipe? Or do you trust your taste buds that well? Mm. You do? Yeah. With all the fuss around the pan, James has come over to check what he's up against. Everything you've got in there, you can still actually taste the cheese. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not... It's really nice. It's really good, isn't it? Yeah, very good. And despite the praise from James, Stephen isn't getting carried away. You know, I respect James's opinion, and he's going to obviously have his opinion of the dish today. But you know, whether he likes it or not, it's, it's no importance to me. You know, because the end of the day, it's what I think. Now Bryn's been on the front line and had a sample of each dish. What's his take on the competition? You know, we're halfway through now the starter, and I taste this Stevens much lighter than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a very, a very rich, heavy, creamy ale. But it was quite light. Um, I tasted uh, James's pea puree to go into his ravioli. Very fresh, a lot of flavour, very subtle. And I can sort of see the way of his thinking now. He's using the, the pasta as a starch element of, of roast potatoes. It's not a complete take on Sunday dinner, but it's, just, but it's James's take on Sunday dinner. 